<laughs> oh my gosh. It's gonna be amazing. <laughs> Hey! <laughs> Good morning, everybody! Good morning. Welcome to Cafe Goki. <laughs> I think um, I can guess what we're going to be doing first thing in the morning. <laughs> we're here in Cappadocia, Turkey, and we're here for three days. And of course, the first thing we need to do is jump in a hot air balloon. You cannot come here without doing a hot air balloon ride. And there's going to be over a hundred in the air this morning. Yeah. Crazy. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Let's do it! We're moving! Moving to the Oh my gosh, here we go! <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow! There's so many balloons! <laughs> we like turn onto the highway and then you see the traffic. There's like literally balloons hitting each other. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, Oh my God. We also arrived so late last night that we haven't seen Cappadocia yet. Oh, this, this will be like our first movie. time seeing it. And wow. <laughs> wow. Are your ears popping? Yeah, my ears are popping. <laughs> We're so That's high up. <laughs> oh yeah, so um, this is our first look at the town of Cappadocia. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's cool. see where the good cafes are. <laughs> Landed, they crash. <laughs> this guy literally landed on his trailer. Good pilot. He's now literally just driving us away. No! Ah! <laughs> Thank you so Thank much. You. What did you do? Cheers, everyone. Cheers to an insane start to our trip, yeah. Oh, snacks. Oh. So we've just come back to our hotel and they have a little puppy. Hi. <laughs> She's sleepy. Oh. Oh my gosh, I'm spilling. I'm spilling. I want to go as puppy. Um, good morning. <laughs> Good morning. What's with us coming in? I've got us a coffee. Oh, I wish thanks. we can finally see what this place looks like. In the daylight, it is amazing. Come look at this, dude. You can kind of see all these little rooms and windows being carved out. They say it's a cave. So these like, I don't know, we haven't actually learnt about the geography or anything, but there are these like big pillars scattered all through the area and they've turned them into houses. So if you turn around, you can actually see our front door now a little bit better. It's like... We're dwarves living in the <laughs> mountainside. <laughs> I love it. This is. <laughs> I think I need to drink. I think I'm too tired. There's poor coffee everywhere. So, something we had no idea about before coming to Cappadocia is that they used to live underground. And there's over 200 underground cities here. And we're about to go into one. And I'm a little bit nervous. You'll do good. I'm like seven levels down. My heart's like racing right now, but let's do it. You'll do good. Alright. And these aren't just houses down here, these are full blown cities. And they started building these 2000 BC. That's, That's over 4000 years ago. Oh my gosh. I'm nervous. Oh, you're gonna do good. <laughs> It's called Daring Kuyu, which translates to deep well, where they get the water from. This is crazy. It's like not too bad. Like there's a few little dips in here, but it's not as bad as the Kuji tunnels in uh, Vietnam. I said, yeah, no, that helps. The 
because it's always 15 degrees in here, they'd use this like food storage for wine storage. It's perfect temperature. We're literally just going deeper and deeper. Just imagine how long this will take me to build and dig this hole. Going like 70 to 75 meters down. So you guys are probably wondering why these caves were here. So 4,000 years ago, around Jesus' life, a lot of the Christians and the Jews were being murdered by the Romans and had to escape and hide somewhere. So that's why they built this underground city. At the moment, we're actually currently in a church. It's shaped like a cross. So there's that. There's the other side. As you can see, it's shaped like a cross. And at some point, 20,000 people would be living in the city. This is where they used to make wine. So this used to actually be open up. We're right near the surface now. They used to drop their grapes down here and everyone used to jump on the grapes. And then there's two little drainage holes here where the juice would go down the drainage holes and then get stored down in here. Come look at it. It's so cool. So you see the little drainage hole there, Steve? Yeah. And it would go down. But how do they do the this grapes? amazing. They used to stop stuff. All right, <laughs> time to get out of here. <laughs> so we're currently heading back to our hotel, but on the way we've stopped off at a place where there are so many of these kind of cave rooms and we found out they're actually caused by volcanoes. So they're actually piles of ash. And as they erode, they turn into these kind of triangle shapes and then they're very easy to carve into. So they carve into them and then they use them as like storage and houses, but so unique. I've never seen anything like this and there's hundreds of them. It's literally like a cave village. This is very cool. Wow. Oh, the hotel has just set up a whole dinner so we can have a family dinner tonight with this view. Also, wait for it. Contain your excitement. See all these holes in these walls? These are pigeon holes. And then Jess literally like a light bulb switched on. She's like, oh, that's why they call it pigeonholes at school. <laughs> so when I was a teacher, all where I used to store all my stuff was called a pigeonhole. And now I know why we call it pigeonholes. <laughs> I'm glad we're having this convo. <laughs> I'm gonna sh can I show you them what I got today? Yeah. We went to a little market and I saw this bag and it was like really, really old and dusty and like faded. And I asked the guy if I could buy it and he was like, are you sure you don't want a new one? But I really liked the look of this one. He wanted 25 Australian and I got it for 15. I haggled. I feel like I'm like the master haggler. You are. So I got this like Turkish backpack. Kind of matches your so dress cool. to be honest. I just thought it was so cool, something a bit different. And I feel like it's big enough to hold our laptops and stuff when we're traveling on the, on the plane. But this was my purchase. I think it's Very really, cool. really cool. So this is going to be my little souvenir from Turkey. Fall into the pool of light. Love is in the air tonight. Gonna make you smile. Gonna hold you tight. Vibe and makes you feel just right. Good morning, everybody. Morning the next day and because uh, our really cool cave hotel was actually situated out of the main town so we're actually hiking from our old hotel to our new hotel it's about a six kilometer hike yeah and it's really cool because this is a really good way to see the landscape because Cappadocia is all about the cool landscapes and look at this place this is a chapel <laughs> just casually in this cave <laughs> well it is just a chapel even though it just looks like some rocks you wouldn't even know and if you look inside it still has the original paint on the roof and on the walls back there Guys, look at this view. Crazy. And like, as we're walking along, you literally just see all these little homes and rooms. I know. That built from years and years ago. Like rocks, 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 home. Mm -hmm. And look at these formations. They're just insane. Found a little cafe over here. Literally in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> this is like the halfway point and there's a convenient cafe just set up here, which is great. Like this cafe with these views. He's getting my business. Wow, now that's fresh <laughs> watermelon juice. So we've got orange, watermelon, and pomegranate. Fresh. Mm-hmm. Hits the spot. <laughs> hey everybody, it's a couple of hours since we last saw you, and we thought we might as well show you around the main town of Cappadocia, which is Garemi. And it's a small town. It's literally a couple of streets with some mostly restaurants and hotels. I mean, it's really cool. You just look around, it's just cave rooms everywhere. 
Guys, even if you have no interest in purchasing a rug, just come look in them. The They're carpet stores are amazing. Oh my gosh, thank you. Yeah. Cheers, everybody. Yum. Yum. Oh my gosh, the store owners are so nice. They're letting us take some photos. And, and they're giving us lemonade. And the view is so good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is the coolest carpet store I've ever seen. Yeah. It's literally. We are the biggest, we are the oldest. Are you? Ooh. Biggest and the oldest. 22 rooms. After this, you can shop in the rooms. inside. 22 yes. yeah, yeah, Whoa. Yeah. And look, it's just panoramic. Yes. Do you know how many carpets you have? 150,000. 150,000? Oh my gosh. This is our sixth one. generation. Wow. And I was born in the dead cave. What? Wow. Yes, I'm a caveman. <laughs> but, my, my, but my name is not Fred. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. This is so cool. It's just like piles and piles and piles of carpets. Wow. Oh, my goodness. It's still going. <laughs> this is so cool. Oh, this room, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of carpets. <laughs> that was the coolest shop. Definitely come check it out, guys. Even if it's just to walk around and experience it. Wow, oh God, they were like just... The coolest shop owners ever. <laughs> like, wanting to help us take photos. Get and they also tea. have a light store, which also looks oh, yeah. amazing. Oh my gosh. How cool does it look, Leo? Super. <laughs> All right, so our guide was telling us he has an idea for our last dinner together because this is kind of the last night of the trip. Um, we've basically come to an Egyptian temple and we're here for dinner. It's going to be an eight-part dancing performance, eight different dancers around Turkey, plus dinner, inside a cave. And not, a, not an Egyptian, this is Turkish. <laughs> it looks like an Egyptian temple, but I guess t Turkey has temples too. It's carved out of a cave, classic Cappadocia. Oh, wow. And look at the carvings here. It's like a theatre in the round. This is where we are. Oh. Cheers everyone. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Good morning, Jess. Good morning, Cleo. Cheers, cheers, cheers. We have just woken up to our last day here in Cappadocia, our last, almost last day here in Turkey. Guys, I know the other day we paid to go in one of the hot air balloons, but seriously, all you need to do is wake up at sunrise, find a little hill near your hotel, and just look out at the view. It's like panoramic, just. There are hundreds of balloons right now. It is, it's even cooler from the ground than just looking up at them ever seen anything like this the thing is you need at least two nights minimum two nights ideally three nights because as cool as it was being up in the balloons you need to do both you, you needed need to be both. from the air and from the ground it is incredible and this is basically the way we're ending our time here in turkey oh my God. <laughs> i am absolutely in love with turkey you guys need to come here i'm already talking about making plans to come back there's still more i want to see it's amazing, oh my gosh, like, look at this.